My name is Daisuke Sato, 23 years old. After graduating from university, I failed to find a job, so I've been working part-time to make ends meet. Recently, I've been feeling a bit fatigued, and if I'm not careful when I'm working part-time, I'll fall asleep. That is to say... Good work today, too! How about we go out for dinner afterwards? What to do? A college student who's a junior at my part-time job. He's an earnest and thoughtful guy, so we get along well. Sorry, I have to work again today. What? Are you okay? Please, don't push yourself too hard. I know, I know. See you later, then. I have several part-time jobs. There's one reason for that. Yeah, it's pretty good. I've always wanted to try this restaurant. I'm glad you like it. And I heard there's a new restaurant with a nice atmosphere. Take me there next time. I bet it's a fancy place, too. This is Gesco. She's my girlfriend. We've been together since college and we're close. But she's a bit of a spendthrift. And I've had to take on a lot of part-time jobs to keep her happy. But life like that didn't last long. Oh no. I'm going to go broke. It was impossible to meet Gesco's demands with only a part-time job. I thought about getting a full-time job, but the take-home pay would be higher with a part-time job. I had been living this life on the sly in order to fill Gesco's wishes. And... <sighs> what are you sighing for? Well, I'm actually a little short of cash right now, but it's my girlfriend's birthday next month, so... I'm just wondering what to get her for her birthday. That's easy! Just give her a handmade present! After all, it's all about the thought! I see. I could do that! Then, a month later, on her birthday... Happy birthday, Gesco! Here's a present for you. Hehe, <laughs> thanks. Let's open it then. I'm excited. Uh, what is this? A bracelet? What brand? No, I made it myself. It's not easy and it took a long time, but I put a lot of thought into it. What? Handmade? Are you kidding me? Who wants a bracelet made by an amateur? What? You're not happy about it? Of course not. If you want to please me, go buy a bracelet from a luxury brand right now. But as you know, Gesco, I'm working part-time to make ends meet. It's not like I have any money. I see. I knew a poor guy like you couldn't please me. But I guess this is the last time I'll be seeing you. Are you kidding me? You're breaking up with me? Of course. I only went out with you because you bought me things. I have no use for a man with no money. Don't ever show me your face ever again. And so my relationship with Gesco came to an abrupt end. <laughs> Damn it! Why did you leave me, Gesco? Hey, are you Daisuke? What are you doing here? Wait, uh, are you crying? You told me? It told me Wada was a friend of mine from college. She's a very straightforward person, and I felt comfortable with her. It told me it was one of the few people I could talk to about my relationship with Gesco. However, we drifted apart after I started working. It's been a while since we've seen each other again. I told Hitomi I was dumped. Huh, <sighs> good for you. No, it's not good! I'm so hurt. How can you be with someone who spends so much money? You wouldn't have lasted long with someone who dumped you because you ran out of money. Well, well, that's true, but... Besides, I knew dating Gesco was a bad idea back in college. What? Why didn't you tell me back then? Because you look so happy. I just wanted you to be happy. You thought like that about me? I apologized for getting heated and blaming Hitomi. Hitomi laughed at me like she didn't mind. I still don't think it was the right decision to break up, but I felt a little lighter. What am I going to do now? I lost my girlfriend, and I'm working part-time. I'm worried about my future. You're not going to work with computers? You used to make weird websites when you were in school. My hobby is programming. 
I used to make a lot of websites and homepages when I was a student. I remember I got a pretty good response from Hitomi. I still do it as a hobby, but I don't know if it could be a job. In this day and age, anything can be a job. The whole idea of finding a job is getting old. It's normal to make money doing what you like on a freelance basis. Huh? Does it really work like that? Then I went home and immediately looked for a programming job. There's a lot of work out there and it pays well. But... The Tomi's words remain in my mind. Doing what you like. Those words were very appealing to me. I guess it's a reaction to the fact that I've been working at Gesco's beck and call. I want to work just for me. And then I made a decision. A few years later, I was at a wedding. It was Wataru's wedding. But on this day, I still had other things to do. I got permission from Wataru in advance to say hello to the bride. And that bride... I heard they wanted to take time to say hello, but look who it is. What? A failure like you was an acquaintance of my husband? Yeah, we're old friends. I was surprised when he told me he was dating you. Dating you is a past that I don't want to remember. I'm glad I got married to an elite businessman. Looks like Gesco hasn't changed. I came here today to ask you for a favor. Wataru is one of my dearest friends. But don't be selfish and think about him too. And try not to spend too much. I'll do that even if you didn't tell me. It's not the right time yet. When the time comes, I'll take it. I'm sure Wataru will rise in the world and become a wealthy man, so I'll be a good wife until then. I was appalled at what Gesco was trying to do, but I didn't say anything and headed for the wedding venue. And as the ceremony began, I kept having mixed feelings. Should I tell Wataru? But I don't think it's right for me to ruin Wataru's happiness. I just can't believe that this married life will be positive for Wataru. I was torn between two thoughts. And in the middle of the ceremony... We would now like to have a congratulatory address from the president of the groom's company. Uh, yes. What? I saw Gesco's surprised face. But I still managed to finish my congratulatory speech and the ceremony went off without a hitch. Gesco... What did you want to talk to me about? What do you mean? How come you're the president of my husband's company? I've been working part-time all my life. But for the future, I decided to use my skills to start my own business. At that time, Wataru was about to graduate from college and he said he wanted to help me. So I asked to join my company. I posted my programming knowledge on LabTube. And these videos were so well received that people from all over the country wanted me to teach them. So I opened a programming school. Wataru took the initiative to help me with that. Thanks to that, the school was able to expand nationwide. And Wataru is now working as my right hand man at the head office. You didn't tell me you were getting so rich. What do you mean? I have no obligation to tell you such a thing since we broke up. Well then, don't cause Wataru any trouble. He's an important friend of mine. I won't let you get rich by yourself. And with that, I left the wedding hall. When it was a week later... Gesco, what are you doing here? I mean, how did you find out where I lived? <laughs> Wataru told me this was the president's house when we passed by before. I didn't think this huge mansion was your house. I see. If that's the case, why did you come to my house? I think I like you after all. Huh? What are you talking about? Seeing you again made me realize how I feel. I can't think of anyone else I'd rather marry but Daisuke. Don't play with me! You dumped me because I didn't have any money! I'm not gonna get back together with you! That's not what I meant. The man you've become is so attractive. Thanks for becoming a man I wanted. Hey, stop! Daisuke, what's wrong? Oh, you're the girl from the same university. I'm Hitomi. What's Gesko doing here? That's out of your business. I'm here to talk about getting back together. You're as selfish as ever, but Daisuke won't give you the time of day. How can you say that to me? Because we're in a relationship. Uh, oh, what? As I talked to Hitomi about work, 
I fell in love with her. And then my work at Lab 2 started going well, and I confessed my feelings to her. Hitomi had liked me from before, and we started dating. I proposed to Hitomi last month, and we're engaged now. We're living together in this house. So there's a way he'll get back together with you. And we're gonna have a wedding, but you're not invited. Don't play dumb with me, you thieving cat! You stole my Daisuke! Stole? We didn't start dating until after you broke up with him. Don't talk to me like that. Uh, we hadn't broken up yet. How can you say you're in a relationship when you didn't contact him until now? And how come you're married to another man when dating Daisuke? That would be a bigger problem. I didn't marry that man because I liked him. He was a president, so I had to do it even though I didn't want to. Wataru is not like that. Daisuke, you would rather have me than her, wouldn't you? You're only going to go out with her because we broke up, right? No, that's not true at all. I'm so happy to be with Hitomi. I don't need to compare Hitomi with you who thinks of men as nothing more than money. Fine, so you don't want to get back together with me? I've told you a thousand times. We have things to do now, like the sign on a wedding venue. Leave. Huh? I don't care what happens. With that, Gesko left. But then, three days later... I'm sorry for coming out of the blue today. There's something I really wanted to talk to you about. My wife told me the other day... Daisuke-san, you and my wife were together before, weren't you? Y yeah It wasn't a good breakup, so it was kind of hard to tell. That's okay, it was a long time ago. There's something you're not telling me, is it there? Things I'm not telling you? No, there's nothing else to say. Please don't lie to me! I'm still stewing in my own guts. Please don't provoke me any further! What's wrong with Wataru? Um, did Gesko tell you something? Can you elaborate on that? The day before yesterday, I came home and found my wife in tears. She told me about her relationship with Daisuke-san. And she told me that even after she left Daisuke-san, he was still following her! That's a complete lie! What to do? You are being deceived! It's not like I'm believing it off of what she told me. Aren't you the one who's being deceived? Wataru, why are you being like this? Don't you trust me? I wanted to trust you, Daisuke-san! But I can't do that if I see something like this! What's this, a letter? You know what it is, don't you? And tell me, son, please read it. This is Daisuke-san's true identity. What is this? This is terrible. Wataru gave Hitomi the letter. It was a letter expressing an obsession with Gesko and a message of love. And to my surprise, the sender's name was me. I know, it's shocking. I probably shouldn't have shown this to Hitomi-san, who's his fiance. What did you know? I'm not shocked that I was betrayed. I'm shocked by the very existence of this letter. What do you mean by that? This letter was forged. It's handwritten, but it's not my handwriting at all. I wrote the marriage certificate the other day. I'll show you. What? So this is... It's fake. She probably did it to deceive you. You said you wanted to say hi to Gesko on our wedding day. What did you two talk about? I know Gesko's true nature. That's why I went over there to ask her to put you first. She, she told me you were going to do terrible things to her if she didn't get back with you. I wish I didn't have to show you this, but I can't help it. Actually, Gesko came over three days ago. What? Really? This is from the security camera at the front door. I want you to take a look at this. The video clearly showed Gesko coming on to me. I was obviously trying to keep my distance from Gesko, and it was pretty obvious which one of us was going after who. No! I never thought Gesko would do something like this. 
Daisuke-san, I'm so sorry for doubting you. No, no, no. It's natural to trust the person you love. Don't worry about it. Damn. This can't be happening. What to do? What are you going to do now? We'll help you if you need us. No, this is a family matter, so we'll settle it ourselves. We've already put you both through enough trouble. Well, you don't have to worry about that. I won't say anything if that's how Wataru feels, though. But don't forget that we're on Wataru's side no matter what. Daisuke-san! Thank you! After that, Wataru slammed Gesko with these evidences. Gesko was after the money and there was a fight. But he had all the evidence, so she couldn't get away with it. After a while, she admitted the truth and they divorced. After the divorce, Gesko went on a lot of matchmaking parties trying to remarry a rich man. But nobody was interested and she seems to be leading a solitary life with no one in her life. Wataru has been down for a while after the divorce, but... President, may I ask you to take a look at some potential places to open up a new cram school? Wow, you've done a very thorough investigation. Huh? Who took this picture? I did. I actually went to look and decided on all of them. That's great. There must have been a lot of candidates. Yes, but I didn't want to miss anything. Yeah, that's great. But take care of yourself. You've been working harder and harder since the divorce. I'll have to reward you again. As for us, we finally had our wedding. How do I look? Yeah, you look beautiful. I'm sorry it took this long to do the ceremony. No, I know you're busy, and I like when you're working hard. We then held the ceremony in front of many people. Wataru was among them, and the ceremony became one of the most memorable for us. After the ceremony, we moved into our new house and started our new life. We've been living together for a while now, but it feels kind of different. You're right. But we're going to start our new life together again. Yeah, I'm sure if it's with you, it'll be a lot of fun. I promise. I'll make Hitomi happy. That's what I promised myself and headed to work. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. And don't forget to check out our other episodes, too. According to my calculations, you are about to like and subscribe to our videos. Thank you for watching! See you next time!